Hi everyone! Since the last video, we released a new version of Scalable SX and Debris 3, and also we released binary packages for them, so it's about time to give you a new walkthrough on how to install a three node scalable cluster with uh, Libres 3 on top of it. This time we'll be doing the installation on the CentOS 6. So let's download the RPM package from our website and yum install it. Yum will automatically resolve all the dependencies. So now the package is installed, we just run SFC setup and answer the standard questions. So we'll call this cluster test. We accept the default path for the for the storage directory. Uh, IP address of the virtual machine is already pre-filled, so we just accept the default. This is a new cluster, so once again we accept the default. Review your choices and move on with the creation of the new cluster. Okay, so the first node is running. We have a new script called SX Deploy, which can automatically add new nodes to the existing cluster. And uh, it just takes two arguments. The first one is the path to the SX setup conf file. So that will be etc sx server sx setup.conf and the IP address of the node where you want to install uh, scalable SX. So in this case, it will be uh, 192.168.246. Now, the script assumes that uh, you have a root access over SSH to the remote server. Uh, in this example, I've already pre-configured the uh, key access uh, to the remote server, so it will not prompt me for a password. But uh, the script uh, works as well uh, if you don't have key in place. Uh, if you just, it will just prompt you to enter the password for the remote host. Okay, it's now installing the package on the remote node. Downloading the RPM. Installing all the dependencies and joining the node. Here we have our second node already member of the cluster. Now let's repeat the same command for the third virtual machine, which is dot uh, 47. Again, it's downloading the RPM from our website, installing all the dependencies, configuring the node, and it's joined to the cluster. Now that we have a, an SX cluster available, we can install Libras 3. So we just uh, wget the RPM package of Libras 3 from our website, and yum install it. Again, dependencies are automatically solved so we are ready to run a Libras 3 setup script it will ask for the DNS name in this case we'll use s3.test.scalable.com the default replica count is the replica used for uh, uh, buckets when they are created through the S3 API since we have a three host, three nodes in the cluster, we will use a replica count of three. And we want to start the daemon immediately. And now Libras 3 is up and running. As you can see, I've pre-created a DNS record in our DNS pointing to this virtual machine. And I've also created a uh, wildcard record pointing to the same IP address. So, for example, if a Nest3 client would try to open the test bucket on this uh, Libras3 installation, it will first try to resolve the hostname test.s3.test.scalable.com. If the bucket is called, for example, backups, it will try to resolve backups s3.test.scalable.com. So, it's very important to create this record because otherwise the clients won't be able to uh, find the S3 host. 
Uh, this has nothing to do with uh, our product. It's uh, just a, a design decision by, uh, done by Amazon S3. In order to access an S3 bucket, you need to provide an access key and the secret key. The access key matches your SX username and the secret key obviously matches uh, is secret key. So, for your convenience, we provide a pre-filled uh, S3 CMD configuration file with all the authentication token already written inside it. Uh, S3 CMD is a quite uh, famous tool, widespread tool for assessing S3 buckets. It's probably already installed in your system, otherwise you can install it with you install S3 CMD. And you can copy our example file to your home directory so that uh, it's used by default. Uh, the sample file is stored under etc libras3 libras3.sample.s3cfg. So let's copy it to our home directory as .s3cfg. Okay, we are now ready to create our first bucket. The command to use is s3cmd mb, mb stands for make bucket, followed by the s3 URL prefix and the bucket name. So we'll call this uh, bucket, for example, backups. Okay, the bucket was created successfully, so we are ready to start uploading files. Let's create uh, an example file, my first backup, and let's upload it with S3 CMD. Done, and we can list the bucket with ls. It's also possible to access the bucket through the SX interface. So buckets are mapped uh, one to one to SX volumes. So for example, you can list the volume, the corresponding volume, using SX ls. And there is our file. With the addition of binary packages and the SX deploy script, we have made creating an SX cluster a trivial task that uh, anybody can perform in a few seconds. Uh, so we hope that uh, you enjoy it and uh, let us know how Scalable is helping you solving your storage needs. See you in the next video.